following video is going to show you how to create a mask in Flash CS6. Um, the best way to even explain what a mask is is simply to show you how to make one and show you what the final product looks like. Um, that's the easiest way to explain it and show it, and it's only going to take a minute to show it, so it's very easy. All right, so I'm going to show you how to create a mask. There are many reasons why you would do this and ways to do it, so as after you see the example, you can kind of start to figure that out. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple motion tween on the screen with some text. And I'm actually going to put the text off the screen. It's just going to be a word that says hello. Very simple. All right. Put it off the screen. I'm going to create a simple motion tween, which I've done in my other videos. So what I'm doing right now you should be very familiar with. I inserted a frame. I right click. Create motion tween. I'm going to select the final keyframe and move it. And I'm also moving that off the screen. So right now we have a movie that a motion tween that simply plays and scrolls across the screen. All right, but what I would like to happen is I only want people to see the word hello when it comes into this center part of the movie. I don't want to see it when it's out here and when it's coming onto the screen. So what do I do? I create a mask. A mask allows me to put select a part of the screen where I'm going to be able to see exactly um, like actually place where I want this to show up. Um, you can think of a mask almost like holding a picture frame up where you can only see the object while it's in the picture frame. So let's create a mask. I'm going to simply create a new layer. You can see that it extends across the whole entire motion tween. I'm going to select a shape. I'm just going to select a square to make this simple. And I am going to draw my square, just plop it right there on the screen. Now, to create the mask, I'm going to and let me zoom in so you can see what happens here. I'm going to right click on this layer 2 and I'm going to select mask. So look what happened when I selected mask. Layer 1 was pushed over. The colors have changed here to signify that it's a mask and the layers are now locked. If I look up at my screen, my square has disappeared. So what happens? Watch, I'll scroll through and you can see. Notice how you can only see the word hello while it's where that square would be placed. That's a mask. Let's play it and you can see what it looks like live. That's it. So why would I do this? Well, if I wanted to create like a spotlight kind of effect, that's one way to really, an awesome way to do it is a spotlight. But there are tons and tons of reasons why you want to create a mask. Um, as you're going through and creating your movie, you'll find out. All right, bye.